Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so today I'm using pearlescent colours and these are by Amsterdam. Now, these all look white to you and me until I start blowing out and letting the colours dry. So they work really well and mainly on a black or a very dark background. So I'm gonna use a metallic background. I'm gonna use graphite. And the way this works is the pearlescent colours will reflect. So they're, they're translucent. When light hits those colours, they remain translucent. But when the light hits that colour, it reflects. And that's when you see the colour, the real colour of those paints. So I'm really excited for this one because we're not going to really know how it turns out until it's properly dry. But we're just going to have a bit of fun. I'm going to use a Dutch pour method. It's going to be on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. So as you can see, I'm using my graphite colour to blow out my base colour. I thought about doing black, but I thought let's mix this up a little bit differently and use a graphite metallic. So let's see if this works and stay tuned because I really can't wait for you to see how this evolves and the final results. So I'm just making sure that my base is fully covered. I have painted my edges. That just means that it's easier for me to clean up the sides after I've done the blowout. So I'm just making sure the whole paint, the whole base is covered with the paint. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna puddle the paints in the middle and I'm gonna blow out a bit like a Dutch bloom. And then what I wanna do is I wanna kind of feather out the sides and make it a bit more wispy. So let's see how we go. Let's see what we can create. I think I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, I love this colour and I just love some of the movement that you can see in this base already. So I'm going to get my colours, my pearlescent colours. I have written the name of the colour on the cup because at the moment everything looks like white. All my paints are mixed with just water. So I've had to write the name on the side of the cup, but the first colour you see there is the red. And then the second puddle I'm going to do, just next to the red, is going to be a white. And then what I'm going to do, you'll probably see me just go off screen every now and then because I'm going to write this down so I can remember it. But the next one is going to be a yellow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say each colour as I puddle them because normally you'd be able to see the colours on the screen. But there is no way that you can see that because everything just looks white at the moment. Okay, so on top of each of those puddles, I'm going to add green. And then I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to puddle the blue colour directly on top of the green. And then I'm going to add the violet on top of the green and the blue. Okay, so just to finish off, I'm going to add a little bit more red in this puddle. And then I'm going to add some more white in this puddle. And then I think I'm going to finish off in the last puddle with some yellow. So I'm just going to pour that onto there. I can see some air bubbles, so I'm just going to get rid of those with my torch. I'm just going to go over the whole of the base and the puddles in the middle. And I think just to finish this creation off, I'm going to take my white, my pearlescent white, 
and I'm just going to go round those puddles with the white in a circle. And then I think I'm done. And what I'm going to then do is I'm going to take my blow dryer on a cool setting. And I use a cool setting because if it's hot, I will create a film over that paint. So I'm just going to flood the base a little bit more with the graphite and then we can start to blow out. I really think this is the exciting part of any creation. When you start to blow out and you start to define the shape that you're looking for on the base of your canvas. So I'm going for like a bloom effect, a Dutch bloom effect. And then what I'm going to do, once I've kind of got that right, I want to take all those edges and really kind of make them whispery and feather them out. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I get a good mix of the colour. But I'm really not going to know that until it starts drying. So I'm just going to just go with my gut feeling. What I want to do is I want to create a really nice pattern and shape on top. And you know what? If I was just doing black and white, I think I'd really like this design too. So the added bonus is when those pearlescent colours act and infuse with the light, you'll then get the true colour shine through. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. It's free and you get to see what I create each time I release a video. I really hope you think about doing that. As I work my way around the canvas and really look at the creation, I'm not too scared to just kind of step back and take my time. I think it's really important that you allow yourself that time creatively to really look at that creation you're making. Really look at those patterns. Really look at the shapes that are forming on top. And also really look as you balance that negative space with the design and the creation that you're blowing out. There's no rush for this. Of course, you've got limited time before your paints start to set and dry, but you really do have that luxury of time to just look at your creation, blow it out, tweak it if you want to, add a little bit more paint, take a little bit of paint off. You know, it's really, this is really the time to just kind of focus just on this creation. You don't need to worry about anything else. In terms of shape and design, I think I'm almost there. So I'm going to take you in for a close up and I'm going to try and angle my camera so you can see some of those colours as they start to form because the colours work by the, the light bouncing off of the translucent pearlescent colours. Here you can see probably some of the violet. I don't know if you can see some of that violet and some of that yellow in that area. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to just go in just so you can see some of the details and you'll probably see some of those colours already shining through because it's the light that's bouncing off of those colours to show you the colour that it really is. just love some of these details and I can't wait for it to fully dry and you can see here I've had to write all the colours on the cups just so that I know what colours I'm working with so I can kind of get a little bit of an idea on where those colours will appear on that design. So this kind of um, view that I'm showing you now that the paints have probably been drying for about an hour 
So you can see those colours are already forming. The paints are drying and the light is bouncing off that white pearlescent colour to show you those true colours. And of course, I'm going to show you a dry version. I'm going to hang it on my wall. And again, I'm going to try and show you by looking at different angles of the piece, the colours that appear on the top of the creation. I really love this and I've loved working with this kind of colour. And it's going to be a surprise. Normally when I create, I can tweak certain areas if I think there's too much of one colour or not enough of another. But this is going to be the big surprise for me as well. And do you know what? You've just got to go with it sometimes and trust the creation that you've done. So here we go, the dried version hanging proudly on the wall. It's not yet varnished, guys, so I will add a gloss varnish to this. I use a spray varnish, so that will give it that extra kind of shimmer. But I really love the movement of the negative space, that metallic graphite. And I just love how those colours shimmer and shine through. I think it was a really good balance with those six colours, with the red, the white, the yellow, the green, the blue and the violet. And I'm really happy with the overall look and design of this creation. And let me know what you think. Have you worked with these kind of colours before? And... I don't know what other kind of technique shall I try with the pearlescent colours. I've obviously gone for like a Dutch pour effect here, but shall I maybe try them with a swipe next time? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great week ahead and I hope to see you again soon. Take care everyone. Bye.